Hi friends, this is Neil from the Technical Marketing Team. Today, I'd like to show you how easy it is to add Cloud Object Store credentials and how to create Cloud Object Store workloads. To easily backup and restore Cloud Object Stores using Veritas Net Backup, this is the first video in a three-part series. Veritas Net Backup can backup and restore Cloud Object Stores on both AWS and Azure. To create a backup, we'll need to add credentials to access the Cloud Object Store. First, we'll go to Credential Management and then click on Add to add our Cloud Object Store credentials. Here, we're creating credentials for Azure. Give the credentials a name and add any tags or descriptions that you would like. Next, we'll select Cloud Object Store as our category and we'll select if the Cloud Object Store is AWS S3 compatible or Azure Blob. Since we're adding Azure credentials, we'll select Azure Blob and enter in the credentials for the Cloud Object Store. If there are any specific roles that you'd like to have access to the credentials, they can be added here. Everything looks good, click on Finish. Next, we'll add our AWS credentials. Similar to Azure, we'll add the credential name, tags, and descriptions for the credentials. Select Cloud Object Store for the category and select AWS S3 Compatible for access details for the account. Enter in the Cloud Object Store credentials. Let's click Finish to finish up our AWS credentials. After we've entered in our credentials, we need to create a Cloud Object Store account and associate our credentials with it. Navigate to Workloads and to Cloud Object Store. Our first Cloud Object Store workload will be Azure. Give the Cloud Object Store workload a name. Select the Cloud Object Store provider and select the backup host. Since we've already created our credentials, we'll select it here, but you can also add new credentials here if they haven't been added yet. Everything looks good, let's click Finish. Next, let's create our AWS Cloud Object Store workload. Give the Cloud Object Store workload a name. Select the Cloud Object Store provider select the backup host, and choose what region we'll be using. For AWS, we can connect to the Cloud Object Store with Access Credentials and IAM Roles, or Assume Role. Since we've already entered our AWS credentials, let's select Access Credentials. We can see the credentials we already created. Select it and click on Next. Everything looks good, click on Finish. In another video, we'll use these credentials to create a backup of the Cloud Object Store and perform a recovery. Thank you so much for watching this video on how to add Azure and AWS Cloud Object Store credentials and how to create Cloud Object Store workloads. Mm -hmm.